President Trump's revised travel ban goes into effect next Thursday. It bars new visas from people from six predominantly Muslim countries and temporarily shuts down the U.S. refugee program. Just like the original travel ban, version 2.0 is facing legal challenges. Carter Evans spoke to a key player in the battle of the ban. You had your day in court with this travel ban. We had a couple of them. And you won. Each time. Washington State Attorney General Bob Ferguson led the charge that brought President Trump's first travel ban to a grinding halt. Look, the original executive order was Keystone Cops. It was. And that's reflected in the chaos that was created at airports all around our country that your viewers saw day after day. The new executive order will ban travel from six countries instead of seven, and it will no longer affect current visa holders. But on Thursday, Ferguson told a judge the new order is the same basic policies in a new form, and that the judge's restraining order should still apply. The president does not get to decide if a new executive order is different enough. The court decides that. But the Justice Department and Attorney General Jeff Sessions have not wavered. The executive is empowered under the Constitution and by Congress to make national security judgments and to enforce our immigration policies in order to safeguard the American public. Top prosecutors from around the country still disagree, and earlier this week, Hawaii Attorney General Doug Chin immediately filed a new lawsuit to stop the new executive order. It's saying if you're from one of these six countries, now six, um, you are presumptively a terrorist. Yeah. Ferguson says the fact that the president made any changes to his order at all is significant. What does that tell you? It tells me that even the president, even this president, uh, has to respect the rule of law. You can't tweet your way out of a Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals decision. It's not the loudest voice that prevails in a courtroom. It's the Constitution. Last night, a judge told Attorney General Ferguson that he needs to file an amended complaint against the new travel ban. DeMarco, at least five state attorneys general are planning to do that on Monday. Carter Evans, thank you.